Every high-level arm wrestler trains pronation and cup. Devin is just putting a focus on pronation. But that doesn't mean the cup strength he's been building for 20 years just disappeared. Obviously, I've been following Devin for years, and since he's been this King's move version of himself, you will notice these are the aspects present in all his right-handed losses. He really does tell people how to beat him constantly, just be stronger, always be climbing. Test your frame, it's just that the vast majority aren't at that strength experience level. The right circumstances can help. You can try the exploding hand style that John did when he beat King's move Devon, where you hold on outside the straps. Chalk up. Cup your thumb. Don't let him run. I feel he is keen to this now, though, and is even more efficient at running to the straps than he was then. Devon doesn't lead with cupping all the time. They won't take his hand. They might be able with brute strength and explosiveness to lower his arm enough for a pin. Over multiple rounds is the tricky part. Most likely they would flop press for their wins, though. Hermes doesn't lead with rising so he couldn't dominate Devon's hand. So his hit might open Devon's arm enough for a possible press transition, but he won't be completely over his arm pressing down because he lead the move with back pressure. Devon only hooks when he knows you are taxed. By the time he hooks you've already lost. Devon never give up his pronation, whether it be a hook or a dead wrist press. He just never give it up. Meanwhile, some elite pullers do pull without a cup sometimes like in a flop wrist press and when they drive sideways giving up fear cup. Be considered a foul in a losing position. Jerry Cataret. Oh my goodness! Overall pronation is the most important strength of this sport. You won't access power in pronation effectively if you're not cupping, but it's not always the case with Devon. It also stops opponent's pronation. Cupping allows you to dictate what the opponent is allowed to access. You want to hook? Cup and supinate. You want to top roll? Cup and pronate. Dennis' pronation is not enough to bend Devon's wrist back. Dennis has stated himself that super matches are all about endurance. That after the first round power is not a factor anymore. I think Dennis is staking everything on his endurance and wants to turn it into an arm wrestling match. My issue with Dennis winning is that I'm pretty sure he's no way near his peak shape. I've seen him being almost on par with John Brzenk, regardless him being stoic and not showing any emotions. He couldn't pin John straight to the pad. He won just due to superior endurance, and eventually John gave up each round. Strong Cup is probably the hardest single thing to pull against. Getting in the straps and rising back pressure can help keep someone's wrist flat. The idea of involving your larger muscles against their smaller muscles is a good thought process to have. Also, Devin spent his 30s obsessed about cupping. Hand and wrist are almost inseparable. Your wrist doesn't protect your hand because you can't use your wrist if your hand doesn't hold up. You can keep your hand closed while losing your wrist, though. Either way, all losing your wrist does is significantly reduce your ability to attack. The old version of Devon would trade everything in order to get in sufficient king's move. He would give away his cup, shoulder commitment, and arm angle for pronation. You can pin without a cup, but you will lose a match if you don't keep or regain pronation. You defend with pronation to avoid being turned palm up. You attack with pronation to crack the opponent's wrist. You defend with cup to avoid getting your wrist cracked. You attack with cup to turn the opponent palm up. If you are strong enough to simply pronate through someone's cup, which is only possible if you're much stronger than your opponent, then you have won anyways, no matter what you do. Think about it like a chain. They are all links. From fingertips to shoulder and lats, and everything is applying force towards the pin pad. The weakest link gives first. That is what limits yourself. And the strongest link does not win by itself. If you attack with your pronation and fails, then you also just lost your pronation. That is why you defend with your pronation against the cup. If the cup can't take the pronation, then you use that defensive position to open that cup up with the rest of your body. Cupping your wrist amplifies your back pressure 5 to 10% by reducing your lever length. Part of the reason why Hermes can lift 92 kilos with his wrist cupped but barely 80 kilos with good form. Cupping 
is probably the second most important strength to have throughout arm wrestling, but cupping, rolling, rising, if you are significantly behind in one of these strengths, you can't win. When it comes to the absolute basics, you shouldn't be looking to pick and choose, you should be training them all. In my career, I've felt like some of the most important strengths were rising, cupping, and rolling. RCR, rise, cup, roll. Devin has been using the multi-spinner for decades. It targets the fingers so effectively, and the thickness makes it even better. The thing is, the weight is mostly on fingertips, so due to the worse leverage, it puts a greater strain on wrist flexion as well. Multi-spinner does put your wrist in a more mechanically disadvantaged position than a rolling handle. But it also puts your fingers in a worse position, which is precisely why the fingers become a limiting factor before the wrist. And it targets the high part of your opponent's hand. And then as you start to begin your cup, there's going to be a little bit of stabilization through pronation. So this is kind of like a top rolling drag. I have never seen recent Devin losing a match because of his fingers and wrist. If he gets pinned, it's always because of his arm. I noticed when Levon pinned Devin, he didn't manage to completely crack Devin's wrist back. Contrary to Ermi's, whose wrist was fully taken, Devin got pinned because his arm couldn't handle the pressure and failed. Not his wrist. He maintained some cup. Even when Devin tried to hook Levan in later rounds, he maintained his wrist flexion. But Levan is stronger in every aspect. If your opponent is opening your hand, then the key is not to train to come back from a wrist fully bent back, fingers fully opened to cupped position. The key is to train such that you never get fully opened up. That's why you train your radial deviation from a locked position. That's where you want to be the strongest. You train your cup from straight to fully flexed. I think it's time to consider whether Devon's much criticized training methodology, micro movements, ultra high frequency, massive table time volume, and single arm specialist is the real deal. Devon completely transformed his level. Although I think he also changed up his supplementation pretty massively in the last few years, Devon's training is heavily on the isometric side of weight, while other arm wrestlers are typically doing a larger ratio of eccentric and concentric movements when it comes to resistance training. It seems Devon gets most of his range of motion during table time, or when he is doing his accessory rehabilitative resistance bands. I assume that's how he keeps relatively decent health through his joints, as doing nothing but heavy isometrics would give him worse T-Rex arms than he already has. Maybe in the strap, maybe in the strap, maybe in the strap.